Uh, okay, hello, I'm Chris, I'm working for Quantap and uh, I care about quality and performance. And before, today I'll talk about concepts and uh, dependence injection because I think it's a really powerful uh, design which can get out of it. So let me share a dream, uh, a goal which I would like to achieve. Uh, it's not a five minutes talk as Michael said, so I'll be going blazing fast, so, sorry about that. So uh, there are a few goals I would like to achieve with concepts and, and the BI. The first one is to get better error messages to allow design by introspection. I would like to get loosely coupled design with a policy design. I would like to have static dispatch, flexibility to opt out to the uh, type erasure and have uh, the testability as well. So well, let's start with the uh, concepts. So concept slides are going probably into uh, C++20, but we can emulate them in C++14, 17 quite easily. So uh, here on the left, you have a simple concept uh, with a simple approach. And on the right side, you can say that the foo is only callable when the concept swivel is uh, satisfied. Uh, for, the, uh, for this talk, we'll rather focus on the non-template constraints, uh, where you can actually do like optional interfaces and other stuff. Uh, so in this case, we won't have a template on the readable. We'll have it inside. And you can maybe find this callable, t, uh, int, and read. Read is a macro here, but it's just a lambda. I just couldn't be asked writing it here on the slide. So it's a lambda just in order with the, with the uh, um, local struct, which has a, a read call function. So, so you can see that the reader is uh, satisfied by the readable. So that's the first thing. Uh, after that, we would like to have the uh, loosely coupled design with policy design so that we'll be able to inject everything at compile time uh, so that when we have requirements we won't be uh, sticking with just one because we always have different cases. So here you can see the app has a policy, error policy, and after that uh, the error policy, for example, the pro uh, exception policy depends on the exception. So the class exception and class theory policy is just weakest concept you can see. You can think about of them like an auto. Uh, for the concept light, and we wire them on the bottom. So this way we can create an app easily. Uh, we can have a two-phase resolving as well. So in this way, instead of uh, the weakest concept, we will have the concept itself. So readable and printable. At first, we'll uh, deduce the t-reader and t-printer to be readable and printable. And after that, we'll deduce the, with the DI, uh, the constructor, so that we'll be able to inject uh, proper types so on the bottom you can see that readable and fi has to be uh, failure has to be satisfied readable uh, and failure has to be satisfied uh, as a concept so it will be done at the uh, at the compile time at at the, at the time of the uh, wiring uh, uh, but if we uh, don't we, if we don't know everything at compile time we can easily opt out with the same concept uh, to the type browser uh, so, for example, instead of here of having printable, we'll just put it as any printable. So it's a type erasure. It's based on Louis Dino library. So we have any printable, which is value semantic. And after that, we can easily bind it at at uh, runtime. So here on the bottom, we have printable. We bind it to lambda. We know the Qt at runtime, uh, and we bind it to Qt printer or the console printer uh, at runtime. So this way, we can easily opt out to the uh, to the version. Uh, uh, to the runtime version when we don't know everything at compile time. Uh, but by default, we know basically all the dependencies at compile time either way. It's hardly ever when we have to switch uh, opt out to the, to the runtime. And finally, uh, it's extremely uh, important to have uh, easily a uh, testable code. Uh, so in this case, we can use uh, DI and concepts to get the uh, automatic mocks injection. So here on the make, make app, my app is a template, uh, but it knows that it depends on some uh, concepts, so we can easily create an app, uh, get the structure binding, get an app, get the mocks, and after that we can set the expectations on anything we want. And what is uh, really important here is the fact that uh, this test for the type erasure or the concepts it will be exactly the same because type erasure is based on the same concept as the concepts themselves. So if you change uh, the type uh, to not to be a, a concept, but to be a, 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 a any, uh, the, te the test won't change. So this way we can have, uh, we'll have less uh, maintenance. And the same approach works with interfaces, but that's not that important. Yeah, if you have any questions, there are a lot of uh, libraries to look at. Thank you.